Hello, this is a picture of a, a planet's surface and in the sky you've got uh, a planet rising over the horizon. Assuming you're probably on a moon and you're looking at the planet ahead. It looks like a water world. I mean, it could, could be an Earth-like, but I think it's a water world. Lots of lovely clouds on it. It's got, and it's also got planetary rings, which are always absolutely stunning. When you stand on a surface, especially if it's if it's the surface of the planet with the rings, and you look up and you see that great big part of just those lines of this graceful sort of like, and you know they're all made up of microscopic pebbles. It's just lovely, and you sort of really feel like you're experiencing an alien world when when you look at these rings. It's just it's just wonderful. And on this planet, you've, you've got the ship that's landed, and there's, there's two SRVs there. So clearly, it wasn't just it's not just one ship that's landed on this planet. There's two ships. You can't see the other one. It is great when you go to a planet and you explore it with with another commander, and you, you might spot canyons, and you you'll egg each other on to to fall off the side of the canyon, or you or you, or you might spot some interesting structures or a little outpost somewhere, and you go into it and. Perhaps you'll have a little bit of a rally round it or collect some cargo. And it's a great experience. I particularly enjoy now that you've got the opportunity to get out of your SRV or out of your ship on foot. It gives you an added added reality to it, the, the feeling that you're just walking and jumping over this landscape. And it tells you if it's hot. And it tells you if it's too hot and you're in danger. And, and it tells you if it's too cold. And, and it might be that you're in a shadow. And that's just that shadow has made it too cold for you to be safe simply because you, it's just just on the cusp of what your suit might tolerate for long periods of time and it's really lovely uh, I particularly enjoy meter and hollow which i was watching tonight because i was watching a stream where there were some commanders were gathering and having a bit of a, a bun fight uh meter and hollow and sidewinders and the, the beauty of the place is that you're on this moon and the planet you're orbiting you're orbiting it so fast it's it's ridiculously fast it, it's almost it's too good for them to even consider fixing it and who knows there may be planets that have moons that orbit that fast it's just beautiful to see this blue arc glide across the sky in real time just that so fast and i know that there is a point there, that when you're in mr and hollow and you stood in your suit it tells you it's too cold when you're in shadow and then the, when New Africa comes up over the horizon and the light from the sun reflects off the blue surface of New Africa onto the moon, then then you're warm enough to be safe again. And I just think that's just that's just a lovely level of detail that that's the case. I think it's they've done a really good job making these planets feel like they've actually they are actually rock under your feet and you're walking on them. I quite enjoy looking for biology. That's quite fun. <laughs> and, 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 and jumping on biology, which is always quite good. And running around them with my SRV and getting my SRV pronged on them, which is less good. But yeah, I spent quite a lot of time doing SRVs, to be honest. I, I generally give up trying to do the SRV tyres and things and chalk. There's so much detail on these mechanical structures. I, I, I find them really complex and difficult to understand. But yeah, it just there's just so many wheels and so much shadow and overlapping bits of metal that I'm getting better at them over time. But it's still not the thing that I think, oh yeah, I've got an SRV to do, oh, lovely, because it is they are they are a bit challenging. But you know, I love I love doing planets, so that's what makes this picture fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.